First and foremost, I am not a plumber, all right? I know there's plenty of different ways to do this. This is the way that I've done it in the past. It worked well, quick, simple, and easy, um, and fairly cheap. So stay tuned and I'll show you kind of my walkthrough of how I cut and fix a frozen pipe. Here are the products that I'm using. Just a small rigid copper cutter. Home Depot deburr, tactile copper coupling. I want to make sure that you use them with copper, not for PEX. Need two of those, some extra copper line, tape measure, and a marker. So this morning I had this connection here blew apart, froze, expanded, and uh, broke the joint. So what I'm gonna do is, I already cut this one here, and I noticed there's another coupling here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out. Instead of having three joints in a line, I'm just gonna have two, one up top and one down below. So I'm gonna take my rigid copper pipe cutter here. I wanna make sure that once I get this piece on, roughly, We'll have enough. This is a rough idea. That way I don't cut off too much. So what you do is you just kind of tighten it till it's somewhat tight, not too tight. And then you just start twisting. Do a full rotation, tighten her down again. Now what you want to do is take your deburr tool here and just get, get the inside nice and clean and take the small one, same thing. Make sure that it's nice and clean there. So, all you do with this piece here is take it and you just slide it on. Bingo. So, what I'm going to do to get this measurement here is I know that that pipe is going to sit roughly on that square line of that brass there. So I'm going to measure down to that, which is about five eighths. I know they make a tool that'll measure for you. I don't have that. So I'm just going to get it close. So five eighths. And then what I'll do is I'll come up here and I'll mark five eighths. Right there. Now I'll make, and then my new measurement is going to be from that down to that flush part, which is 23, 22 and 5 eighths. So I'll come over here, I will deburr. Make sure that there's no visible burrs or bends or obstructions in that side. Make it nice and clean. Going down at least an inch. Now you can see that copper nice and clean. From that side, I'll take my measurement which was 22 and 5 eighths right there. Take 
my cutting tool. I'm going to line that blade right on that mark. And there's my mark. Sink her down, tighten it up. So now, repeat the process. Sink it. Sink it down all the way. I'm going to sink that guy. Nice little twist. Pull. Sunk her down, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry everything off. Turn my water main back on, do a test fitting. And if that holds, which I hope it does, That holes, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this insulation and I'm gonna go all the way up the wall tight there with this chunk. And then I'm also gonna throw regular bat insulation in this wall. And uh, that should do it. All right, she held. So I'm gonna cover it back up, insulate it, and uh, hopefully this doesn't happen again. But I'm open for suggestions, comments, ways I can be better, ways I can improve on this. So if you are a plumber or you have more experience than me, please let me know. That way uh, in the future, we can make this a little bit more streamlined and more professional. But for now, 